Today in this video, we're going to be doing some FE exam review for the civil section. And we're going to be focusing on the engineering economics topic for these videos. So I have some practice problems for you all, uh, two specific ones. Um, so I want to get straight into them. So I'm going to minimize myself and I'm going to drag myself. I guess in this left corner. All right. So I now have some tabs open. I have our practice problem and then our FE manual. So if you are not familiar with the FE manual and what you need to be studying, that's why you have found the right channel because these are all the topics that you need to um, study and they're found at the bottom. Um, and so today we're specifically going to be talking about analysis, uh, some break even and uh, problems in relation to analysis. So you want to make sure that uh, you are going through each of these topics and mastering them so that you can pass on your first try. All right, so problem number one states, a company produces transmission gears used by several form tractor manufacturers. The base cost of operation is $596,700 per year. The cost of manufacturing is $18 per gear. Not per year, but per gear. <laughs> If the company sells the gears at an average price of $37.90 each, how many gears must be sold each year to break even? All right. So this is a lot of information, first and foremost. But always before I try to jump into a problem, I always ask myself, can I use the FE manual for this? so that I can get a little bit more context in the problem. And so I normally start by just kind of searching some terms. Break even would be my my term to search within my handbook. So I already have it as you can see here. So 11 different items come up and I'm just gonna search through until I can find something that's relevant okay so break even analysis we're in the engineering economic section as you can see so it looks like i'm pretty much in the right section so it doesn't look like there's a formula associated with this uh, but it says by altering the value of any one of the variables in a situation holding all of the other values constant it is possible to find a value that the variable that makes two alternatives equally economical Okay, that was a bunch of BS to me. <laughs> uh, that's that wasn't very helpful. Okay, if I'm skimming, skimming, skimming. Okay, the payback period is the period of time required for profit or other benefits of an investment to equal the cost of the investment. So when I think of break even, I think of how can I invest something and then uh, reap back all my uh, pretty much how can I break even and for whatever I sell, I make that amount back, right? It's very important, and this is very real life circumstance. So if you're putting your money or you're investing your money in it, into anything, you want to at least make sure that you can make your money back, right? We don't want to we don't want to lose money. Same in engineering, so it's called engineering economics. All right, so I'm going to start writing out my givens, and y'all please bear with me. Um. I am actually looking for my pen right now. Uh, I think I found it. We're good. We're good to go. All right. So I'm going to start out by writing down kind of my knowns. Okay, the base cost of operation. Uh, 
base cost. All right, that is 596,700 dollars. Okay, so I got my base cost down. Uh, the cost of manufacturing. So I'm just going to put man cost is equal to eighteen dot forty. per gear for each gear per gear okay so if the company sells the gears in average so my average price average gear price It's equal to uh, thirty-seven dollars and ninety cents. Okay, and each. Okay, so I know it's eighteen dollars and forty cents per gear, and the company sells. Uh, the gears an average of 37.90 how many gears must be sold each year to break even all right so i know that i, I let's let's start out by uh starting with what we're putting in all right so our base cost is that 596 number so I'm just going to say my base cost plus what else? Uh, my man, my man cost. Okay. Is that all the costs that I'll have? Yes. Okay. So if I, let's just say I put the cost of manufacturing is $18.40 per gear, right? So $5.96 plus that. How many do I need? Okay, so the amount of gears is kind of my my uh, variable. All right. So my they give me my manufacturing cost per gear, but I don't know how many gears that I'll need. So I got my base cost. I know my manufacturing cost, but I don't know how many gears that's gonna be, all right? And so that is equal to uh, the 37 and 90 cents for each gear, but I still don't know how many that I need to sell to be at a break even. So ultimately I need to find my number the number of gears I need to sell for them to balance out so I got this base cost got my manufacturing cost but I need to know how many of them I need to sell in order to uh, get rid of that uh, base cost basically and manufacturing costs so that I owe nothing I owe no nobody any money all right so 596. 700 and i like to do these problems with you all because i actually 
problem solve them and and go through them with you so that I can feel what you're feeling, right? And I may be a s- bit slower than you, but all that matters is that you pass this exam. So 18.40 times x x is equal to 37.90 times x okay so this looks very solvable now all right got some variables but from looking at it i can just subtract my 18.40 x on both sides Yeah, that's a bit too much. It's just for this sake, keep it simple. I'll I'll just take eighteen forty from both sides and subtract, and uh, thirty seven dot ninety minus eighteen dot forty gives me. Nineteen point five X, which is equal to five. Oh, God, that doesn't look good. All right, let's try this again. This pen is actually pretty tough to write with, or maybe I'm just not used to it. All right, so then we're going to divide both sides by 19.5. And I get x equals 30,600. And that gives me C. So hopefully this uh, made some sense to you. Um, I do have a lot of practice problems that I have worked through. So if you found some value out of this, please like it so that YouTube knows that I'm making some pretty good content and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more practice problems where I'm just working with you. It's really good for like uh, late night practice and just going through each concept just makes things so nice, right? Feeling confident when you go in the test because you understand the manual, you've done the practice problems. And if you know, you feel like you need more, uh, please make sure that you check the description box because I do have some resources in there. It'll be practice test. It will be some different um, courses that you should maybe look into if you really want to focus in and lock in. And there's also some other great resources, practice problems, links to things that will really help you. So be sure to check that out below. All right, let's move on to the next problem. All right, so it says uh, four alternatives for a manufacturing process have annual benefits and cost as shown. So you got alternative one, two, three, four with their benefits and cost. Which is the best alternative? Okay, so again, I ask myself normally, um, whenever I'm reviewing a question, can I use the FE handbook for this? And since I'm already in the engineering economics section, I know that this is an engineering economics topic. So look at there, boom, benefit cost analysis. 
In a benefit cost analysis, the benefit B of a project should exceed the estimated cost. So B minus C is greater than zero. So uh, judging from this, I should literally just look at the all like each alternative and jet and see which one has the highest uh, benefit. All right. Well, not the highest benefit, but when it comes to my benefits minus my cost, which one is how much pretty much money do I have left over? All right. So for alternative one, I did not mean to do that. For alternative one, I'm just going to put one. We got five, uh, 58K. Same thing as 58,000 minus 50K, which leaves me with 8K left over, right? Alt two. I am left over with 10K. Alt three, I am left over with, is that 9K? Alt four, I'm left over with 11K. So based off of the benefits versus my cost, I'm gonna go with, uh, alternative four because I have like the most like 8,000 I would rather have $11,000 uh, versus $8,000 from a particular manufacturing process or a project or whatever I'm doing more is more left over is always better so this was another problem that I wanted to to share with you all um, hopefully that was helpful as well. Um, so currently we went through the analysis section. We did a break even benefit cost. Some of this renewable energy and sustainability, they're going to be basic questions. Um, but if you need some extra practice, feel free uh, to do those, do some, look up some practice problems as well. Um, the next section that I'll be covering is uncertainty. We'll be doing some expected value and risk problems, practice problems. So make sure you check out the next video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any questions or you want me to make more videos on a specific topic. Um, that is all I have for you all today. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.